Hi, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the Break the Cycle website at sfhelp.org. In this brief video, I want to introduce you to something that's useful to know if you're interested in improving your communication with other people. It has to do with why do we communicate? You ever thought about that? We do this so reflexively, we communicate so reflexively, often we don't think why we're doing it. Um, I've been studying this for 40 years. Here's what I've learned. There are six reasons. I can only think of six as to why we communicate all the time. Why you communicate. Why I'm communicating with you right now. All right. The first reason, I suspect, you already know, but you don't know you know. We communicate in order to gain and maintain respect, self-esteem, self-worth, and the appreciation and approval of other people. Have you ever thought about that? We communicate in order to maintain our own integrity and our own self-esteem. We assert our needs and our opinions with other people in order to feel I'm a good person. I know what I'm doing. I can respect myself. We also communicate with other people in an attempt to gain their respect. So that's a major reason that all kids and adults communicate. Do you agree? Here's another one. We communicate in addition to needing to gain and maintain respect, we communicate to give or get information. Pretty obvious. Um, what time does the class begin? Seven o'clock. Oh, when will you be home for dinner? I'm not sure. Well, about when? Oh, maybe 5.30. Oh give or get information that's characterized by little emotion. It's just information, it's facts. Okay? The third of six reasons that we, meaning you, communicate with other people is to vent. How would you define venting to a 12-year-old person? If she or he said, well, what, what is venting? What is that? What would you say? Instead of saying, well, it's just talking to another person, which is pretty global. How about, it is sharing what you think, what you feel, and what you need right now in a way that is accepted and respected. You, what do you need from another person when you're venting? You need them to respect you, to pay attention, to want to pay attention to you and to listen to you with their heart, as Stephen Covey says. So venting is a third reason that motivates us to communicate in person, over the phone, across the miles, face to face. The fourth reason, which is perhaps the most obvious and may have come to your mind at first, we communicate with each other in order to cause action. We seek to have another person do something or to stop doing something. I want you to listen to me. I want you to chew with your mouth closed. I want you to pick up your socks. I want you to call my mother. I want, alias I need. We communicate in hopes of motivating the other person to do something or to stop doing something. A fifth reason that you communicate, check this out against your own experience, is to avoid something unpleasant. Um, like what? How about boredom? You ever known anybody that communicates in order to, quote, stir up trouble, cause excitement? Some people do that. They can't stand being bored. They like to feel their emotional juice. 
so they'll be controversial, like some newscasters you can think of. So avoiding something unpleasant. Another thing we, many of us, are uncomfortable with is silence. If you're with another person, especially if you're close together, and nobody says anything, what do you feel? Often we have a compulsion, many people have a compulsion, I've got to say something. Gee, it's cold in here, isn't it? You ever done that? You know somebody that does that? How's your tolerance for social silence? So these are the major reasons that drive us all, us human critters, to communicate, to get or maintain respect, to exchange information, get or give information, to vent, to avoid something unpleasant. Well, what, do you can, what can you do with this? I mean, is this, so what? Ho-hum, okay, this is why we communicate. Here's an important value to using the skill of awareness when you're in an important communication and if it's not working to your satisfaction, if you're not getting your needs met. One possible reason is what you need from the communication. For instance, I need to give you information does not match what your partner needs from communication. Well, I don't need to exchange information. I need to vent. I need you to listen to me. It's a good idea to be able, when you have problems communicating, use the skill of awareness to say, what do I need here? Why am I communicating? And what do you need? If our needs don't match, use the skill of meta-talk, which you probably have never been taught, but you can find, about, find out about in lesson two in this website. Meta talk is talking about talking. So if you use awareness to say, well, I need information from you and you need to cause excitement, our needs don't match. Then you use meta talk to say, you know, I think we have a problem. Our needs don't match. That's meta talk, talking about talking. That leads into problem solving. Okay, like well, let me vent for a while, and then let's work on creating something exciting. Let's both get our needs met. So that's the value of knowing why do you and others communicate. This is one of the interesting and fundamental things you'll find out about this thing we do all the time, often without even thinking about it, which is communicate. Lesson two in this website focuses on how to improve the effectiveness of your communication. This is one way. If you have any feedback you'd like to offer on this idea, on the website, on the lesson, um, or anything else, please use the contact link at the bottom of any web page on my website. Okay? In the meantime, I hope you'll be thoughtful. <clears throat> Enjoy being thoughtful and taking stock on why am I communicating now? Stay tuned.